Hey girlies, so it's Pretty Emmy and I am back with the next video and this time it will be all about my round two surgery with designer bodies. Yes, I'll be doing my round two this April and as the title suggested, I will be showing you what I will be taking along with me in my bag to do my surgery and what you need, what not to, to take, etc, etc. Just everything overall, what to pack when you are going to DR, Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo to do your surgery with designer body. So that's basically what I will be talking about in this video. So before I go into the video, I will be showing you guys why I feel like I need a round two because a lot of persons, they are wondering why would I be doing a round two? Everybody thinks my body's perfect, please. Don't mind the sweating, I'm one, very anxious and nervous about leaving. I'll be leaving tomorrow. By the time you guys be seeing this video, my body will be snatched. I'll be finished and you guys will be seeing the after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um yes, I'm gonna get into it and show you guys why I feel like I wanna go get a round two. <laughs> Alright, yes, so this is the body right now, and this is what it'll be given. what it would be given I don't know a lot of girls say this is their ideal body type and all of that I will not complain I think my body is beautiful by the way I gained 20 pounds to do this surgery because I wanted enough fat to be transferred from my belly to put in my bum I'm not sure about putting it in my bum is yet until I go over there and have a consultation with my doctor and then he will best tell me what is the best thing to do based upon what I want so let me uh let me where should I start da, 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 da. okay first and foremost I have some scarring underneath my breast I think I'm gonna um just put it in somewhere up here I'm gonna put it somewhere up here so you guys can see the scarring. The scarring is terrible. I have bad, bad keloid. I didn't know that I had keloid until after the surgery. So now I'm stuck with keloid and I did not know that keloid is so painful. So it has literally spread within the last year and couple months. And it's terrible. It's, hmm, it's just a no-no. As I said, it will be up here. Um, so I would, I'm gonna get those, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> There's a treatment in DR that Designer Body, they recommend. It is the, it is the, what's it called? Oh yes is a scar radiation so basically um it you're, they're going to use radiation to basically prevent the scar from coming so i'm going to redo my breasts and yeah i think i'm, I'm going to need some bigger size breasts i mean these were originally my natural size breasts i feel for a person who is so thick i felt like i needed a bigger size breast um don't see don't don't worry about my hand i i have to lose back these weights as soon as i'm finished but i gain like most weight in like my arm my thighs and my ass but yeah i just feel like i need a bigger size breast that's one and the scar as i said and number two my belly okay hopefully when i zoom in you guys can see but let me try not to show too much but yes, this is what I have a problem with. So basically, really and truly, my belly was really smaller than this. It was, I, I had a 26 waistline. Um, it's now at 29, because as I said, I had to put on some weight because I wanted enough fat. 
and I wanted enough skin because I might be doing um, what's it called um, a mini tuck so anyway when I did my surgery originally they couldn't remove the skin because I didn't have enough uh, skin up here to pull to do a tuck because really and truly I had a really small waist before I done my surgery I will be putting it somewhere along here as well I had a really small waist before surgery this is it tuck this is it right now I had a really small waist before surgery so they, there wasn't enough skin to be pulled down to give me that snatched belly that I wanted um, so even now there's still not enough skin to pull if you realize it, it's more to pull this way or to pull down or whatever the case want to be so I always have this little sagging above my navel I feel like it's time for it to go also with my butt now <laughs> It's just so funny, like, people be seeing my butt, but, um, I don't know, I feel like somehow, I just need a little bit of projection right here. Don't curse me, or don't come for me. Don't come for me, that's just what I want. That's just what I want. And, it's whatever it is. So, um, I'm just gonna go into showing you guys what I will be taking along with me to... We are to design a body and what you can bring to so let's go into that okay girlies so let me show you what I'll be packing in my suitcase in my luggages some of the things are not here but I will mention them and I will also post them somewhere in this video so firstly you have to have your compression socks I am a little bit extra so I bought two of two two different colors um because basically these are the two colors that you would be wearing in your faha <laughs> i don't know why i feel like this sucks me too much my faha but um this is the black one and this is the nude one so basically you need your compression socks to compress your foot you have to basically you have to have on your compression socks all all the time just maybe one hour out the socks but you have to have it on every day um, I think for at least, if I'm not um, wrong, maybe like, uh, da, 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 like a month. So the compression um, prevents blood clots and all of those um, stuff, which you do not want. Um, I'll be taking some marinas with me. You have to wear the marinas underneath your faha to prevent um, lipo burns and just for the comfort basically. You need them underneath your faha. I will be bringing this lipo foam. The last time I was there, I didn't use it, but I'm just gonna take it just for a little extra security um, in my um, in my faha. I might not, I might not, but I bought it, so I'm just gonna take it along with me. Uh, basically, you use this to get some extra compression, but instead of using this, what they use over there is the pads. So they basically use the pads to like pad um, like where your arm is because the faha is a little bit uncomfortable. So maybe they pad on it here. They pad um, inside where your drainage um, is, will, will be. Also, there's going to be paddings right there. Not for like leakage or anything, just for um, just for a little comfort because um, it's going to be very uncomfortable. But yeah, that's basically what the pads are for. I bought two of them, the ones without wings because you don't need the wings. You just need them for, you know, just padding. Also, the Arnica gel, you use this to get rid of um, scarring after um, liposuction. You would use this when you're doing your massages. Um, so I bought two of these. I bought... You know, the regular stuff, you know, you have to have your toothpaste, your deodorant, all of those stuff, your lotion, everything that you would basically use when you're at home, you know? And I, I don't care if it smells good. Eh? You can't have any thing, girl. Come on. And then the fact about it is you can't actually bathe hmm, until like maybe after a week or so. So mostly you'll be doing like some wipe downs and etc, etc. 
this for me is gonna be my best friend white because I cannot I don't know like I just want I my, my head to say I want to pee and I'm, I'm just gonna pee right now and for me when you're so sore you can't like uh and jump and run to the, the bathroom same time so for me this was my best friend this is a urinal and they have all different types before i bought the one with the little um penis looking thing i'm not sure if that's um, appropriate to say right here but yes that's the one i took at first but i found this one more useful and yeah, I, I, I rather this one. So this is a urinal. Um, you will still have to be taking your iron and your vitamin C. Um, and also, I take the gummies as well. So the thing about it is I usually take the iron, vitamin C, and the iron and the vitamin C liquid but because I am LB in VR and um, listen, in here is mad hot. I had to turn off my fan and there's no AC in here. Y'all broke. Y'all can't afford AC. <laughs> anyhow, the summer come, I need one. I have to go buy one. We can't make this summer catch me. But anyhow, um, what was I saying? Oh, damn. Yeah, I was taking the liquid. Uh, vitamins and iron uh, for a month or so because your iron level has to be high and um, moderate so that you can be able to do your surgery. If your iron level is low, you cannot do your surgery, but you have to take all of your vitamins and all of those stuff so that your body is ready for the, the surgery. I'll be taking along with me um, some Panadol Ultra only because I have bad migraine. Uh, some people suggest other tablets to take, but I don't know. This just, this does it for me, like within 20 minutes. And my migraine literally be every day. I think I'm going to buy a next pack to take along because, I don't know, I'm an overthinker. And maybe I'll, I'll just be overthinking every day and my head just will, will be, oh shit, talking about that. I need to bring my anxiety medication and see if my doctor will allow me to take that. But yes, I have to take that along with me. This is for sore throats. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So normally after you wake from the anesthesia, is it anesthesia or is it anesthetic? Uh, anyway, after you wake up after surgery, sometimes you have a sore throat. So these can help you with the sore throat. Uh, makeup remover wipes. Because for me, not that I will be wearing makeup, but sometimes um I don't know I. I feel like wiping my face, especially with this wipes, it, it, it helps with my acne and so for the worst. I'm having a breakout for a couple of weeks now, so I'll be needing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking along some Tylenol, um, Tylenol PM so that it can help me sleep in the night. I'll be taking a big bag of Huggies wipes just for any little wipe down. And also, we, they use this when you're doing your um lymphatic yes. also you'll be needing some wipes uh, when you're doing your lymphatic drainage massage uh, which you get 10 of those um, after surgery but when they after they massage you they usually wipe you down with wipes so you have to have enough wipes and just for daily 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 stuff also you can use a wipe off your face um, touch up your tun tun yeah, girl, because you're gonna, if you're a mind shop, you're in other people in place, rank, and you're say, Are you rank? Can I ask somebody to tell you? <laughs> anyway, we'll be taking along with me some comfortable slippers, some bed slippers, because you'll we'll just be in the house every day. Maybe one or two times you, you, you can be able to go to like the beach or whatever the case might be over there. You can just suggest it to the manager or anybody that is, is in charge. Um, I'll be taking along with me two robes. This one is for me to sleep in because I am always cold. I am always, always cold. Except for now, my hot like dog. <laughs> my hot like dog, oh, no, I'm very hot, but I'm always cold. The place is AC'd, so once I'm in AC, 
be cool so i'm gonna be having on this especially um like when it's night time because the ac in the room yeah there's gonna be it all depends on the rooms that you get um you might have two person in a room one person in a room you have to book that different if you want to be in a room by yourself um i would advise being in a room where you have more than one person because it's like it helps you um to you know, feel more comfortable and you know everybody's is basically communicating about the surgery it's like you guys are just overcoming everything together it's, it, 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 it's a different experience when you do it with people and it's like everyone everyone is there with the same intention to you know become their best um, version of themselves everybody's coming to be snatched so i always I, I i prefer to be in a room with people but yes my um robe for the night time and then i have like this robe for when you're going to do your massages because in the morning they normally give you your medication and etc uh, etc et then you go you have to put on a robe which i just suggest a nice good silk robe um go and get your massage and then when you come back the nurses which the nurses is definitely like a little mommy to you they will be wiping you down helping you if you can help yourself you can help yourself but if you can't they will be helping you um to to, to, to shower down etc etc and then you just put on back they, they help you put on back your faha you know basically just feed your in the back of your bed <laughs> yeah it's, it's basically that you just be bedridden for some while but you have to do lots of walking as well just to prevent blood clots etc etc so that you can hurry up and strong up and ready for the road you get me i'll be taking along with me let me see if the dogs can see me i'll be taking along with me i'm not sure how to bring more but this is three there's a whole stresses that's all i've had so far um i've packed three outfits that i will be um going to the the clinic after the appointment you after after you've done your surgery you'll be having like appointments with your doctor so i brought like three little outfits to wear after those outfits have to be like really baggy and really comfortable because you know you want to be able to can lift off put on quick 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 and you can't go your business next thing i'll be taking for um um four four rugs um a towel and again i'll be taking along with me um something soft so i'll be taking along with me my blankets because the sheets are thin and for me as i said i'm always cold so i just want a nice thick sheet and then of course my bbl pillow because a bitch will be getting her butt done and this one is from designer bodies so i already had my bbl pillow but it's also sold over there you can get it over there you can purchase it over there and i think that's it other things i will be just taking along in my bag i'm not sure oh yes the i think i said it already you need no i didn't um so you would need what i didn't what i don't have right here is the antibacterial soap you need to have a shower before the surgery i think it's the night before the surgery the night before the surgery because usually you go to surgery early in the morning so you, you, you would have to take a shower in an antibacterial soap to get rid of all the germs and bacteria off of your body and that i think that's the only thing that i have missing right here um so basically that's just it so for now and i think my next video i'll be doing is <laughs> maybe i'll just vlog my uh the, 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 my trip going to dr so i will be keeping you guys posted i hope you guys enjoy watching my my video so please like share subscribe and don't forget to follow me at pretty underscore ami on ig see you guys Mwah.